Transformers, which are used in a number of different locations throughout the transmission and distribution system, are fairly simple devices. Transformers operate under the principle of magnetic induction. As you can see in the diagram on your screen, a transformer consists of primary coils, which are located on the side of the transformer nearest the generator, secondary coils, which are located on the side of the transformer located nearest the customer, and a hollow iron core in the center. The ratio of coils from primary to secondary is what determines the voltage output of the transformer. Notice in the illustration that there are four coils on the left-hand side of the iron core, while there are eight on the right-hand side. In this example, there is a two-to-one ratio from secondary to primary. So in this situation, the voltage would be increased by the same ratio, which is a factor of two from primary to secondary. Now, take a look at what the transformer has done to the voltage and the amperage. You can see that the electricity coming into the transformer has 500 volts and 400 amps, which, according to Watt's law, watts equals volts times amps, gives us 200,000 watts of power. Since the transformer is increasing the voltage to 1,000 volts and the power remains the same, the amps will be reduced to 200. In general terms, the power into a transformer equals the power out. But this is not exactly true since there is typically a small loss of power due to the inefficiency of the transformer, which might equal 2 to 3 percent. So a transformer works as a ratio device, changing the ratio between the voltage and amperage on both sides of the device, while keeping the power essentially constant. What is the advantage of stepping up the voltage and dropping the amperage? With a higher voltage, the transmission lines connected to the transformer can be smaller, resulting in a lower capital cost to construct.